Andrews, and we are making a drink. We're getting scrappy. Yeah, we are. Actually, we are getting scrappy. Uh -huh. oh. oh, yeah, you gotta rub your nose, because yeah. that's it. Get scrappy and get scrappa. Anyway, so what we're gonna be doing... On the bottle? We're making the perfect. Huh? This is the one that's on the this bottle. This is on the bottle. You might have a special edition. I have a special edition. A Read it. Printed oh. wrong. All right. Uh, What's the name the of the, t the title of the cocktail? It's all called the Prefect. No, it's not. It's called the Perfect. That's funny. If you, okay. Look. It may be called the Perfect, but this says Prefect. I know. Yes. Okay. <laughs> Scrappies is good at, at typos. Okay. They have one on here, too. This is called a Habanero instead of Habanero. <laughs> habanero. Um, they fixed this one, I think, on the next print run. This one has been... I checked the, the other Scrappies, because the new Scrappies, you'll notice, has, a, has this. So... Oh, okay. So the, the latest ones. This batch doesn't because it's older. older. And I still have like four left before those are gone. And that one has a spelling error, but the new one doesn't. So it's really called I, the perfect. I want to read the whole bottle and see if there's any more spelling errors. I yet. thought the prefect <laughs> was because it was kind of like based on Hitchhiker's Guide. Okay. You know, but. Ford prefect, yeah. Yeah, it's not. Um, so, but it wasn't that cool. Uh, yeah. no. So what I basically did is I Good took the recipe Scrappies. right here. It said two ounces of Russian vodka, uh, half ounce of dry vermouth, half ounce of sweet vermouth, quarter ounce of liquor 43. They spelled that wrong, by the way. Yeah. And because it's spelled liquor instead of L-I-C-O-R. Oh, yeah. Uh, two to three dashes of Scrappies of chocolate bitters. So, of course, three. Yeah. You don't go two. There's no halfway mark. No. You're all in. The bitters, you're, you're go right. big or go home. Yep. Go big or go <laughs> home. So. What we're gonna and then do, a lemon twist. Yep, yep, that's that's actually true. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna pour me out two ounces, and you can work on those. I'll do the vermouths. I can pour everything, and then we only dirty one thing. Okay, whatever. And so we have for dry vermouth. I'm using a. We don't even have two ounces of Russian standard, just so you know. Really? Well, that's good. We tapped it out. Um, uh oh, mixing vodkas. Yeah, we'll add a little bit of St. Petersburg on top of it. Oh, well, at least we're staying in the same country. Same country. Boom. Boom. St. Pete. Dash Wait, is that from Florida or is that from... No, no it's from Russia. St. <laughs> Pete, Russia, not St. Yes, Pete, Florida. Yes, it's from Florida. <laughs> we'll do three dashes. St. Pete, it could be either. Yeah. One, two, three. No, no, it really couldn't. <laughs> so while you're doing that, Florida. we're going to... This is Scrappy's latest edition. <laughs> this is called Firewater. It looks like this. Firewater? You can get these on awesomedrinks.com. That was a cinnamon schnapps back in the day, too. Firewater? Because yeah, I used to drink it in college. Remember, I always had a bottle of my Yes. Yeah. Yes. Whenever I was My going. grandfather liked it, too. Really? So it goes that far back? Mm. We're using the Lille Rouge for our sweet vermouth. I like it better than sweet vermouth. I tasted a couple of the ones I had, and I was like, this is this is what I want in this drink. A quarter you can ounce? Use your favorite really? sweet vermouth. Yeah. Just a quarter ounce of liquor 43. Yeah. So liquor 43 is pretty sweet. This is probably not supposed to be that sweet of a drink. It's just supposed to be perfect. Here, put that in your mouth while you're waiting. It's supposed to be prefect? Yeah. Oh! <laughs> That was awesome, wasn't it? That's habanero -y. Yeah. Oh, I gotta listen to you when you talk more often. <laughs> <laughs> That's, but, <laughs> I love it. It's hot, right? Yeah. <laughs> One dash. Is that hot? I, I did the exact same thing you did. Because I have, um, <laughs> I have bitterments. I have bitterments hellfire, right? Remember the hellfire? It's like hot. Yeah, hot. yeah. You know, you're like, oh, that's it's spicy. <laughs> this is not spicy. Are this, we... this. Do you need OJ for anything this else? This is fucking hot. It is. Right? It's really I mean, good. That is, it's, it is insane. So I want to make a cocktail oh. with this. Not, <laughs> not at the moment. I had to see if you were using it for anything else this week. No, no. I drank it. No, that, no. I can cool the hotness. Wow. It's pretty warm. That's that. Right? It, it tastes, it's hot. It's hot. But it's also habanero-y. Like, if you like the flavor of habaneros, I think they have a really great flavor for a pepper. It's got that flavor. <laughs> That's 100%. If you look on Scrappy's Facebook page, they have a pit. No, sorry. Their Instagram. Oh, Jesus Christ. Oh. Yeah, you should keep doing that. That's a great idea. <laughs> Good times. <laughs> Good times. If you, if you look on their Instagram, Scrappy's Bitters, oh. you'll see a whole pile. They have a whole pile of cut up habaneros. That I'm guessing, presumably, that they use for this. They're habanero Reach. husks from the scrappies. Yeah. It was no, it wasn't Ooh. just husk. It was cut up habaneros. Oh boy! Wasn't that awesome? Oh. <laughs> Thanks for that. <laughs> I I was wondering if it was just me. No, that's so, right when you're like, ah! I was like, okay, because I just wrote a blog on awesome drinks that was like, if you're looking for really hot, like think Mar Mar uh, Bloody Marys, right? Yeah. 
if you like a spicy Bloody Mary, my my boss, he loves spicy Bloody Marys. So he can never find too, one, yeah. right? He can never find Pepper's one spicy daughter. enough. You guys like Bloody Marys? Go to Pepper's Daughter in Nashville. They make really good Bloody Marys. I don't really like Bloody Marys. No, All right, like never mind. Marys. Tell your boss go to Pepper's Daughter in Nashville. <laughs> well, if you cut, if you want something spicy, you drop a couple drops of this, right? Yes, you do. If it's not spicy enough for you, just bring the freaking bottle over and be like, guys, just dump a couple in there yeah. until it gets to your heat. Tell me what the number is, then you know. Yeah. Going forward. Oh, I know somebody who really likes spicy stuff. Six of these. Yeah. I mean, that'll dilute, right? I mean... Uh, I don't know. Look at this. This recipe says two ounces of gin, muddled cucumber, lemon wedge muddled, uh, ounce of yellow chartreuse, simple syrup, one, one good, good dash of scrappy spiral. Water. Like, they're... So, how much... Not two to three. How much liquid's there, though? One slice of muddled cucumber. Two ounces, two ounces of gin. That's okay. it. Two ounces so, of gin, some fruit, uh, some vegetables. But a Bloody Mary comes in that. A it's pint bigger. glass. Yeah, you're going to want so. three. Yeah. Right. Just saying. Um, Is that glass sufficiently chilled, my friend? Yeah. I just need to dump this out. You know what I love about Instagram? It's awesome. Immediate feedback. Oh, <laughs> yes. So many people like your picture, Jen. Immediate gratitude. <laughs> Get your booze on. Go to my Instagram. Yeah, my Can I Instagram, uh, Here, I'll take this right here. Oh, my big old drink. Yeah, I, I wasn't drinking strainer. it, though. It was just on the table. Cause I... You were drinking it, just not at that second. Yeah, that oh, you were drinking it. <laughs> she was drinking it. I was drinking it. it. Looks like grape juice. There. So I, well, I brought these down to when I brought, I brought a case of these to um the coops to the yeah to the soup kitchen. Case coops. And I was like, I don't know what you're gonna do with these because they're champagne like. She's like, oh, these would be great for desserts. Didn't even think of that. Like, right? This, it, you throw like a, a mousse in there or something like that. A little yeah, right. Cream. Perfect. I didn't even think of it. I said they could do their shrimp cocktail in here. They could do also whatever they do at a soup kitchen. I don't think you have a shrimp cocktail. Oh, the caviar. Whatever they do. I'm thinking like yogurts, parfait. Yeah. Yeah. A little fanciness. Yeah. Don't forget the lemon twist in this drink. Twist a little. You want to? You should squeeze the pouches over the drink. There you go. Why are they jumping? So. If you want to make a lemon twist, I, I, have you ever made a lemon twist? No. Like besides that, that like that one. Do you one? have a lighter? I no. I should just get one for the show. Yeah. So we always have something to light on yeah, fire. Yeah. Fire is just fun to play with. Right. So. <laughs> yeah, that's just what you guys need. <laughs> <laughs> if you take. Finally, if, someone agrees with this. <laughs> you sling off one of those, right? Now you have this. Yep. Then what you do is you just straighten it out by going down hey, there. Hey, Ian, how can one find your Instagram? I think it's Instagram.com/slash/jetgeek. J e t t. G E E K, and now look. That's how one could you, do it. You have everything I believe you need. One could do it like that Jesus. to make your twist. Do you remember the commercial with the iced tea? Sling. <laughs> they kept getting it in the uh, eye. That's good, good drop. Well, you I'm really just, like oh, commercials. Yeah. Don't I, I do. I Haven't you seen Demolition Man? Commercials of the future. <laughs> That's right. Awesome drinks they, for they classic show classes. Classes. Yeah, awesome drinks. That's, That's a commercial for you. What's wrong with that commercial, Jen? <laughs> Austin rakes for twisty spoons. Mm. You can make your own little twists on it. Twisty spoons. I don't know what they're called. Try it. Twisty <laughs> That's spoons. Spoon. That's weird. Spoon. Spoon. What does it smell like? Citrus. Hmm. Well, it does have a, a twist. Two lemon twists. Yeah. <laughs> you get the chocolate like mingling in there. Yeah, with I, I have a lot of habanero in my mouth right now. <laughs> I, feel so. like I got a little burn right here. I don't know if my taste buds are. I've, I've got a little nuclear burn like right on my tuned right now. <laughs> but the habanero kind of burns his taste. It, right now, it, it, it's right just off. burning physically. It's like more of a heat burning on my my mm. face. I'm getting a little bit. I'm getting the Lily Blanc. I'm getting the chocolate. Yeah, bitters. I'm not. I've never really. This is our first cocktail with chocolate bitters, so I'm mm. I'm impressed that I could get them because yeah, it's we're gonna do another recipe right after this with chocolate bitters, but. I'm the, getting the citrusy. It's it's citrus. The vermouth plays a big part. Vodka's pretty silent. Again, my mouth is a little burnt. Knowing um, the liquor forty three is in there, I can taste it slightly. I, when I like inhale it like that. <laughs> Don't you inhale it. That's where I get it. That's Wait. probably the only sweetness in this drink besides the sweet sweet vermouth. Besides the lily block, yeah. Yeah, the lily is gonna bring a little bit of sweet fortified wine flavor to it, so it's very much yeah. a wine cocktail. Yeah, yeah. That's the fortified wine taste. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's what I'm getting. The chocolate's kind of subtle, though. I mean, but it's the funny thing is the chocolate is through and through from the start to the finish, but it's not sweet chocolate. Mm. It's, it's more it's like, like a dark chocolate. Yeah, yeah, it's like a dark, a dark European chocolate or like that baker's powder. It almost yeah. like if you had it around the the rim. Yeah, yeah. But that's it, it's actually keeps got, giving. I mean, like it's the, not. It's an interesting balance because of that chocolate. Yeah, it's I mean, definitely it, different. Without the chocolate, it would be very 
whiny. It would be exactly be like, like every other cocktail that you would make yeah. that has sweet vermouth. And you know, what? just like a lot of cocktails, like in this one, the bitters kind of like the bitters are actually I think they the, tie it together. It's like it's almost the centerpiece for the cocktail. Exactly, the yeah. which is probably why they put it on their their. And, and it's really funny because the bitters is like such a small ingredient, and it's not yeah. the, it's not the prominent taste in the drink. Right. But, it's the vermouth is probably. But it really stands out in it. Yeah, the, it's, it's through and plate. through. Yeah. It has chocolate. It's not like a chocolate liqueur, which brings no. a lot of sweet action, milk chocolate. This brings yeah. a a very refined dark chocolate flavor. Uh, but if you were to put it on the flavor. Yeah. And if you put it around the edges, the problem is you have to keep drinking each all the way around. Right? You'd if you always put the bitters on the edges? No, if you put like oh, chocolate. Like, a, like if you did shavings. chocolate shaving on the edge, yeah, yeah. you'd always have to keep rolling around to get well, all that's half the fun of those shaving drinks. The rim drinks. I just like a all the yeah, way across. Because you look like you're like a special needs person drinking. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're like, you're like, <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> I don't know how yeah. I drank. I forgot. And you're always trying to get a little bit of the chocolate. Yeah. This incorporates it don't through drink the there. drink. I just licked all that. Uh, just that side. Yeah. I'll drink over here then. Yeah, you should drink that side. Make sure I get the right side. I got mono. So. <laughs> <laughs> So, <laughs> By the way, yeah. I got mono. We shouldn't have drank those last few glasses together. Yeah. <laughs> a question of the day. Most alcohol rating. Most shots you've taken in a row. Yeah, you can do an alcohol. Alcohol rating? Yeah, I know what mine actually is. Um, alcohol rating for this. I'm Like three? Yeah, it's not. It's it's the fortified wine is alcohol like in taste, but it doesn't yeah. get potency. Yeah, you don't get the burn, the alcohol no. burn. The, the the chocolate lingers. I'm gonna go three. Yeah, yeah, I think three is fair. And then for shots in a row, I say eight. They're, and I could tell you what they were. They're brain hemorrhages. Remember that? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we, uh, we, uh, we lined those things up for hours. Like we just give them. Because they were such a cool looking shot. Yeah. We just like look what we can do. I <laughs> think we just like to make oh, them. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah. Drinking them was just a side effect. Like making. <laughs> and, like once you made them, you had to drink them. And then remember Luke? He would like he just drink all the time. He never stopped drinking. He was just a drinking machine and yeah. a smoking machine. And then that I just the only thing I remember from that year. I don't even remember what year it was. But we lined them all up on like the in their side of the room because we had two dorm rooms. It was me and Ian and then our buddy Luke and John. Yeah, yeah. And they had like the and we segregated ourselves because he was like a, a trash can with ashes. And I wasn't. Right. Well, I didn't have that. Your stuff didn't grow, <laughs> except for the pizza, but you can okay. eat that. You yeah. were a trash can. <laughs> <laughs> it's a different type, of, different, different type of thing. One of them is dusty, dirty, and, and gross. The other one's just closer. Where just clutter, it. yeah. Right. So we would it's go a on a... clutter bug. We were on, his, we were on the, the, the chest in, next to his much bunk now. bed. Yeah. <laughs> and we would line him up. And, and he went like this. The only time I've ever seen this guy do this, he would drink all day. He was like, bang, 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 bang. I'm done. First off, you can't possibly know you're done at that point. Like, know, it takes 10 fast, minutes to really kick. And he's like, yeah. boom, 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 I'm done. <laughs> like, you know right now. He's like, oh, yeah, I'm done. But you didn't even finish. You didn't, half committed. He's a professional. He knew, he knew exactly, exactly where he should He stop. had a bunch of beer bottles that lined yeah. his bed. This is the type I mean, of guy <laughs> who would, he would drink in bed, and it would, it's college. You, drink, college smoke, is awesome for drinking and smoking in bed. Who would never take this back, but it was very weird. He would just drink, smoke, and he'd put the beer bottle next to his side. He'd just grab another one. Go up. He would get up, go to the fridge, grab another beer, never worrying about the ones right there, and keep drinking. You know and, who that sounds like? Like Anybody. Doug with his creep yeah, with over his here. Creep. Yeah. <laughs> Doug has his own creep colony. He on. had like lines of four or five <laughs> beer bottles that he would get out of bed and never hit them. <laughs> It was weird. He's talented. They just bowl vault over his beer glasses to grab another beer. While you're there, you can carry the other one to the trash. No. No, 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 no. no it was, it and then now you got a place for an ashtray. It was, it was oh, That's a good point, yeah. Yeah, weird. Uh, so, <laughs> what was the question of the day? Most shots you've done in a uh, Oh, most shots, yeah. I think I mine know. is eight. Or who will win the Super Bowl? Who won the Super Bowl? That's obvious. Or what's your favorite Spitters. bitter flavor? Yeah. What's your favorite bitter flavor? Who won the Super Bowl? You know, uh, Super Bowl is definitely going to be the right. Oh, try definitely going to be the Patriots. You know, I, I think <laughs> I've had this before. Oh, you have had them, but we yeah. haven't had all three because I just opened this tonight. I oh, took it out yeah. of the store. Oh, okay. You know what? My favorite bitters after last week, yeah. I got to say the macadamia, macadamia bitters. bitters. Yeah. The, These are all chocolate bitters. So Bitterman's has a chocolate bitter. Uh, I'm not taking away from scrappies in this drink, but I just wanted to do a baseline comparison since we're all into this chocolate bitter thing right now. It's like a spicy chocolate. Yeah, it's a little bit hot. The Bitterman's, uh, how do yeah. you say that? Z chocolatel. Chocolata It's actually the XO, the chocolate. Sh it's an S sound. Chocolata mole. So chocolate. I think Bitterman's did it first. Then... <laughs> we did scrappies with this. Right. Now, Aztec, Fee Brothers, I, I saw something from Bitterman saying, oh, look, Fee Brothers copied a little bit, right? Yeah. Chocolato, it's, it's, it's definitely got an Aztec 
Yeah, uh, yeah. It's, and then this one they just like fuck that Aztec. We're not, <laughs> we're not people, beating around the bush. People we're don't know Aztec. Like, right. So we're gonna just say Aztec. Okay. So this is like your baker's chocolate, dark chocolate, right? This is definitely more cacao. And this is. I haven't had that one. I, I haven't had that in like twenty minutes, so I have to try it again. It's probably gonna be less, less so. It's, it's, it's more chemically. Yeah. Um, it's going get, to be. I get some chocolate out of that. Some I get chocolate. Yeah. Whoa. Yeah. Right. Well, that's really striking. Yeah. Um, strikingly more sweet. Yes, sweet. So, uh, um, chemical sweetness. Yeah. yeah. This is, I like. I like the scrappies. The scrappies taste right. like really like a good chocolate. But there's a difference. Yeah, definitely different. Yeah. Seventeen fifty, nineteen fifty, like ten bucks, nine bucks. Right. So when you're when you're dealing with more micro, yeah. uh, handcrafted type stuff, you're gonna you spend pay more. more for it. This one you can, you know, this is a it's restaurant grade, yeah. right? This is the stuff a lot of restaurants will buy. This we buy, you know, when we sell them, we I don't know if we ever sell Aztec by itself just once. I think typically you buy a couple of them, but I could be completely wrong. I don't know. Um, you won't very rarely see scrappies or bitterments in a restaurant. If you see these in a restaurant, You're that's a place a to restaurant. stay. Yeah, yeah, you are you are at a place that knows what they're doing. This is great to impart chocolate flavors. There's nothing wrong. There, there's with a it. difference. There's if, restaurants yeah. that make drinks. And then there's bars that serve food, <laughs> right? There you go. That, 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 there's a distinction there because the restaurant that makes drinks doesn't make the great drinks. Right. They make the decent. They make food. Then there's bars. That bars make, make food drinks. to qualify for, like in New Hampshire, you yeah. can't have you the have to bar. Serve a you have to serve a certain percentage of food. Yeah. Right. So they make food. Yeah. Right. Because you have to. But this then is, there's just bars that are just good right. bars. Right. This is bars that make food. Yeah. The, these type of things. Yeah. High end the definitely flavor. have a good flavor. Yeah. This, it will work perfectly fine. You're just going to get what you pay for. It's going to be a little less, it's a little bit more sweet, yeah. no alcohol, so that usually reduces cost you, a lot. You, can, you go out to a bar, you can tell. Yes. 53%. Something else. 48%. You, you can tell, like, when you go to a bar and you get a good drink, you can tell how good the bar is. I mean, right. when, when you taste a drink, you can tell how well it's made. Uh, At least for that shift. For the <laughs> no, I mean like certain places have a certain quality of drinks. Right. I mean, like Moon, I was at this place, Moonstones, right before I came over here, and they're consistent with their drinks. They're very good. They're not. So if you go for your drinks, mind good, but they're definitely consistently good. Which is fine because that's that's probably the sweet spot. Because if you yeah. go for drinks after work, yeah. you want to go to a place like that. You may not go to a place that has eh, okay drinks because you're going. Right. That's your center focus. Maybe you get hot wings while you're there, but your right. goal is to get. Maybe you get nachos while you're there, but you're using nachos as maybe a way. Maybe you're getting potato skins. Who knows? You're go you crazy. Sticks? You need some whoa, 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 whoa! Slow uh, down. <laughs> what is this? The ghetto? Uh, yeah. Come uh, on, yeah. Jay. Yeah. <laughs> you get you get nachos because when you're done, it helps to fill the belly so that as you apply alcohol, you don't get as drunk as quickly. And the salt from the nachos makes you a little bit thirstier. The bar does another beer sale or whatever. Bingo. Bingo. So, in, in any That's case. That's what the beer nuts are free for. <laughs> Just so you know. <laughs> this one is definitely dark chocolate. This one's a little bit more rich, almost a little hot and bitter. Mm. More like a bitter. Yeah, yeah. Right? Much more bitter. And that's a sweet. Uh, and that's more of a sweet. I don't get the chocolate, chocolate out of this so much as I do like, there's a, like a little bit of spice. Maybe. It does have a spice to it. Yeah, it's got spice. Maybe it's like. I'm on your chin. <laughs> <laughs> At least you didn't get in your eye. I almost get cinnamon out of here too, like a cinnamon chocolate. Uh, yes. Uh, yeah. You know, it's almost like they're aromatic, or they're yeah, their aromatic bitters are definitely cinnamon focused. So you know what? Probably based on that. The smell is chocolate. The taste is cinnamon. Yeah, it's it's like a it's like a holiday chocolate. Hmm. Which I, regardless, if I had to get a cocktail, it would be this that or your, not this. Put that in your nutty nog. Oh. Like a couple of those naughty <laughs> Good for naughty dogs. You know how natural dog. that movement was for him, yeah. folks? Well, He's like, oh. Your wrist does an arm does go this way. I could be throwing a football. I'm a quarterback. Mm. Um, okay. either, <laughs> no, I'm not. Uh, either way, pick. These are your selections for, for different chocolate chocolate bitters. I don't know if there's any other ones. Yeah. There's probably a couple other. I like the scrappies. Myself. The scrappies are definitely... Yeah. Like, and I'm not a dark chocolate fan, but mm. in a cocktail, yeah, you let the cocktail do the thinking. rest like, of it. Uh, like this, I I drink this by itself more than I would <laughs> the others, just because right. it's sweet and I got a sweet tooth. But if I'm gonna put it chocolate flavor in cocktail, I'm going scrappies. I like right. the Baker's chocolate. It you stands can bring out as chocolate. And you know what the great thing about that is, it's gonna add some character to a drink. And people, if you're making drinks for people, they're gonna be like, oh, what's that flavor? I don't yeah, quite, yeah, I don't quite know what it is. It's on the tip of my head, and right. I like it, and but I know it, but I don't know what it is. 
it's a nuance that, that yeah. would blow people's minds. Try this in like an old fashioned, maybe even a Sazerac or something like that yep. that's that people maybe, are used to. Maybe and then a, a sweet Manhattan. There you go. Actually, yep, I think yep. there was a Manhattan that uses that. Oh, really? Okay. Actually, I think that's the next trick. Holy Christ. Let me check. The black Manhattan's tomorrow's trick. <laughs> Racist. <laughs> Just saying. I can't I can't say anything. You're right. I don't know what to tell you. That's it. We're <laughs> okay, gonna do it right now. Okay, bitch. <laughs> We're done. Go check out if you need any advice on bitter flavors and pairing. Send me an email at dshomer at everydaydrinkers.com. Uh, Otherwise, just go buy it. Never met a bigger proponent for bitters in my life. I know! It's on already! They're, they're great. They're I had great. a great time with them. <laughs> so go make a drink. Everydaydrinkers.com. Go watch some more drinks being made! And then we're gonna get another one. So if you bought this, you'll have it for tomorrow's drink as well. Perfect. Or teach you how to drink. Oh, Brian thinks I'm sugar. That's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> he said, Brian said you gotta stop giving sugar to your kids. I said the energy's all natural, especially when Ian is here. He gets them riled up. <laughs> so Ian said, Brian thinks I'm sugar. <laughs> Thanks, Brian. You don't even know me. That's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> That's You're so special sweet. too. <laughs>